Good evening, everyone, and welcome to 106.9 News FM. Here, we're going to talk about uh, Mexican news, and with us is Catherine Madrazo, which is an expert in Mexican national history, and she's going to tell us about the main functions and objectives of the Mexican financial, financial system. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Andrea. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Um, as you already know, the Mexican financial system is a group in which people and organizations, public and private, capture, administrate, and regulate financial resources. Therefore, the main purpose of the, of the institution is to capture economical resources of people, businesses, or institutions in order to put them into disposition of other people, businesses, or institutions that require those re economical resources in order to satisfy a necessity. Therefore, this generates a dynamic in which capital is the motor of the activity. Of course, one of the main functions is to establish a regulatory framework that protects the savings of the investors, as well as to promote the development of the economy grant credits or financial support to the different sectors of the economy and to capture resources in a professional way, of course. Well, and in order to you to understand um, the various concepts that we're going to talk about right now is that I'm going to explain what is a bank and a bank is a financial institution licensed as a receiver of deposits and an investment bank that is the investment bank, the financial intermediary that performs a variety of services and specializes in large and complex financial transactions. An insurance company, the insurance company is the one that provides financial protection to policyholders against hazards that could cause significant financial loss. A Federal Reserve is a central bank of the United States. And well, now we're going to talk about the video of Crisis of 2008. And it's a video that we posted on our webpage, 106.9 FM News. And if you're listening to us, then you're going to listen pieces of this video. And, you're, and if you're watching our live broadcast, then you're going to watch fragments of this video. And we hope you enjoy it. The crisis of credit. Visualized. What is the credit crisis? It's a worldwide financial fiasco involving terms you've probably heard, like subprime mortgages, collateralized debt obligations, frozen credit markets, and credit default swaps. Who's affected? Everyone. How did it happen? Here's how. The credit crisis brings two groups of people together, homeowners and investors. Homeowners. Well, now that was a little piece of the video. We hope you enjoyed. And now we're going to discuss about questions that you upload us to our Twitter page. And the first question is, what is credit? And first of all, credit is the amount of money available to be borrowed by an individual or a company because it must be paid back to the lender at some point in the future. The next question is, how does it work in a healthy economy? And it will be effective if the money is paid back. The other question that was sent to us, to us is what happens when credit vanishes and, well, when it vanishes, it occurs a crisis credit. And now with us, live, it's Carolina Velasco and she's going to tell us about the next questions and the other question that was sent to us is what makes some loans riskier than others? Carolina? Not asking for a down payment or no proof of income or anything like that makes you makes you have a riskier loan why would anyone make a risky loan to get a, to get an even bigger income from mortgages when there are no more safe investments available possible payoffs paying a little bit more can shorten your loan using a mortgage loan payoff calculator Paying more also gets you a bonus. The lower monthly fee it gets, the more every payment from then on gets a discount, in some cases of course, and it must be applied to the principal balance. Also, refinancing with a short-term mortgage. Even if it seems to be a bigger payment, it might be better. Uh, it is recommended to get a 30-year loan, but make the payments as if there were a uh, 10 or 15 year loan so you're in control of your payments and also you could switch to a uh, bi-weekly payments 
uh, half payments get you to pay th get you to pay 13 months instead of 12 months in a year because of the 50, 50 years in a week uh, that will you'll finish faster possible drawbacks are like uh, when a home when homeowners are being unable to refinance at lower rates because their loan amounts are greater than their home values. There isn't really uh, an investment that could be called risk-free because even if this, even the safe investments can take a south turn, the safest there is is, uh, is the safe bin in the CDO. Even if people asking for money get a better refund, homeowners could still default in, on their mortgages because of several reasons like losing their jobs or such things that aren't really in their control. The Federal Reserve or Banxico, it's quite important because the value of the Mexican coin is determined by it according to the national balance of currency. Alright, uh, this is it for today. I'm Andre Lizondo, broadcasting from 106.9 News FM. Thank you to all of our cast and see you next Wednesday. Good night.